Hello everyone and welcome back to Audit Rewind. I'm your host commentator, please like and subscribe before we get started in today's episode. So today I'm going to be reacting to a video by Jonathan Williams who was pulled over by the cops. Well, he wasn't even pulled over because he was actually already pulled over because uh, I think his wife slash girlfriend wasn't feeling very well and apparently she felt quite sick. So they had to pull the vehicle over. Obviously, it's not safe to drive if you feel sick. And the cops decided to go fishing for citations. So they pulled them over and they were like, why are you stopping the vehicle? Why are you pulled on the grass verge? And it escalates pretty out of control. So let's get into this video and I want to get you guys opinions. I'm going to be reacting and criticizing this clip. Uh, yeah, let's get into this. I've been speaking cordial. Well, I, I don't have a problem with you. This game where you don't no, sir. They, they, this you is not a game. To to a law no, I don't. Officer. Yes, you do. I'm, I'm gonna put this out. No, no, yeah, sir. Why? Please. Why? Did, did I? Like, I asked you. Am I not right, Brandon? If he didn't, I don't want to little someone actually put it in, in the like ashtray. We were pulled over. We didn't get pulled over. We were pulled I over. I got out with a suspicious vehicle because you came out of a parking lot and immediately got over. She was throwing okay. up. Okay. Because I was parked there. So, so okay. she was a throw up that. in the floorboard. If I ask you to Sir. identify yourself, why is it that the cop is so ID hungry that he's kind of I don't know he's obsessed with ID to the point where now he's saying. Oh, you're sick. Oh, you pulled over for an emergency. Well, I need your ID. <laughs> that just completely backs up our theory that so many cops are addicted to ID. It's dreadful. It's so bad. I mean, I thought this was kind of bad. The cops stopped kind of pulling over thinking, what's going on? Why are you on the verge? But then to ID them once they know that the lady feels sick, that's a whole nother level of crazy. Let's keep watching. Okay. So, so she was a throw up that. in the floorboard. If I ask you to sir. identify yourself, you should identify yourself. Sir, are you married? Are you married? I am. If if if, if your he wife is. He was holding my shirt while I was throwing up because I didn't fall out the car because I was throwing up and I could not. See, I don't know what was going on. All I can see is somebody whip over real quick. They're crossed. And which so he might be choking so, you out. So, I know. so 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 wait, hold on, hold on, babe. So if I was sitting there choking her out, no, you sat there. Holding you. Holding. No, I was holding her back over, okay, over there. Way, vice no, you either said way. this. If I was choking her out, you sat there while I would have choked her out. And she would be dead now. But I'm trying to take care of my wife. Can you at least give us your name? And, and Why? Something? Why? Because I, you, you want to know yourself. what I don't like about this is is why I'm saying no. Because he he's not even concerned with, 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 with my wife throwing up. He's more concerned with me. Why though? That's because is this a medical emergency? She was throwing up. Do I don't. I'm not a doctor. Do you need rescue? Okay. I'm, I'm just asking yeah, questions, it, man. It, it, it's see, my job, you know I've been dealing with on him, so so fresh I'm start, cool, right? Man. Fresh throwing cool. up. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I know she, with the. She's saying she had head Yeah, I mean, that's my, that's why I immediately yeah, pulled right. over when she was like fresh throw up again. I'm like, but do you want me to start rescue for her? You want to rescue her? I'm trying to get her to hydrate. So the cop in the kind of light blue colored uh jeans decided to walk away and this other cop with like the brownie color jeans came over and he seemed a bit more understanding in my opinion and he was actually offering a rescue which i guess means medics like to see if she has any reasons for why she's being sick maybe she knows why but to try and actually do an id check when someone's sick the first cop came across as really kind of uncompassionate in my opinion from what i watched in these clips why on earth is he trying to get id from these people when they don't feel well and they have not a medical emergency but definitely a valid reason to pull on the verge in my opinion i mean what are you supposed to do be sick all in the car all over yourself no and if you're parked in the middle of the highway even with your hazards and blinkers on that's in my opinion way more dangerous than pulling up on the grass so 
I think Jonathan did a great job, and I think this cop here was just uh, power hungry. I don't, I don't get why he was so. Uh, why was he acting this way? He should have helped them. That's uh, anyway. I'll leave a link to the original. Go and support Jonathan's channel. Wait a second. Here we have a video I'm going to be reacting to by Jazz Per Garcia. I'll leave a link down below to the original in the description. Go and subscribe to this person's channel. This is a prime example of fishing cops. Now, I believe that this lady is moving house or something is happening. So her driveway is not usable. Now, I might be wrong, but this cop is not happy with her parking her vehicle partly on the sidewalk. Now, he has a warning with her first and then a second time she moves the car but apparently it's still not right. So the second time she starts filming, cause the guy comes down to write her a citation for this parking shenanigan. What do we even call it? Parking nightmare? I mean, damn you guys, take a look at this. Let's see what happens. Wait a second, how could I move off the sidewalk? The tow truck when I talked here. to you 20 minutes ago, you decided to move it up here and then- You, said, you guys said it was okay to move here. The driveway. And then you went inside. Wait a minute. No, you said it was okay to park here. No, and then, I never said in the street and on the sidewalk. I said on the driveway. And then you didn't move when... Okay, okay, that's not cool. Okay, well, I'm giving you a parking ticket for it, okay? Okay, you but... You can't block this... Okay, but block. then I was... I went to move, and then the tow truck pulled. You're right. You were told to move before the tow truck got but, here. But you, no, I said, can I pull up in front of the house? Because that's where my friends live. And, and I that, said in the driveway. I didn't hear you say in the driveway. Okay, well, I'm not, How, I'm where's not the, in the driveway? Either. This is the driveway. This is the only place you can. Okay, well, park. yeah, I, I, under, I, well, I, I understand that. That's. Well, don't legally park. I didn't. You know what? You didn't even give me a chance. You gave me twenty minutes. No, no, I couldn't move because the tow truck was there. I'm talking about twenty minutes for the. No, we, that before I knew that I wasn't allowed I told to park. You the tow truck uh, was okay, coming. okay. No, I didn't know that the tow truck was going to block me in. Okay, so it sounds to me like the cops are trying to reason with her. Claiming that they have already given her one chance. I mean, I don't like to say it like that because it sounds like we're at school again or like the headmaster. Put your hand up next time you need the toilet. You know, it's like, it's petty policing. Like, I don't know if this lady has an actual problem with her driveway or if the truck is in the driveway or she's moving house. But either way, even if she didn't, it would still be classed as petty policing in my opinion because... I mean, this is something cops do when they're bored and they have nothing better to do is enforce like parking regulations to people with like a half inch of a wheel on the sidewalk. I wasn't allowed I to park. Uh, okay, okay. No, I didn't know that the tow truck was going to block me in. This sign right here that says you have to park in marked spaces only. I understand that. So, so when I moved, out. yeah, okay. Well, you guys, I'm sure you have Can something you else to do. Legal space, yeah, yeah. Well, does it matter? I got a ticket anyway. Yeah, you could. Would you like me to? Oh, right, yeah, I want you to tow my car. That's Come on, you guys. Do you got yeah, something better to do? How many cop cars do you need for a tow one vehicle? Jesus. Well, I'm offering to tow yours. That'd be a second. Yeah, that would be really cool, huh? Yeah, I don't know. Well, why are you... Why, what's the problem? Why are you being such an ass... I'm going to move my car, obviously. I was trying to move it before, but I couldn't get out because the tow truck was here. You're you being you really unreasonable. Car. You're being very unreasonable. No. I no, I didn't say no. I'm just gonna move ten feet. I never said ten feet. I never said that. I said, can I move in front of the in front of the house where my friend lives? And you said, yeah. That's what she said. I, I didn't hear you say in the driveway. There's no place in the driveway. Why would that be an option? Why would you block the driveway? Because that's my friend's car. She and she. I know. Well, I, you know what, you can, you can make the argument all you want. I know what you said, and I know what I was going to do. They, they, they told me I could park in front of your thing, and then they asked me, they told me to park in a parking spot. They told me to park in a parking spot. I will. Thank you. Ma'am, can you move your car, please? Yeah, I'm okay, going to move my car. This is Lane Palmer. This is not Lane Palmer. This is John. He, they're just making yeah they're just talking out there because they're making they they lied about the ticket they just gave me i don't know if something had originally happened in that neighborhood but i want to make one thing clear if the cops are hanging around a neighborhood street and enforcing parking citations that in my opinion isn't good policing because there's way more important things to be doing 
I mean, if they, if this cop was to make it his mission to try and enforce all these parking regulations in neighborhoods and suburban streets, then he would just spend his entire career driving around silent neighborhoods and roads in communities, giving out citations in the hundreds per day. What's the point? I mean, I understand if it's for safety, uh, people try and say it's obstructing the road, I can totally understand that. But if this lady has a valid reason as to why her car is parked there, her driveway isn't usable or is full, or is having something moved, etc. There's a million reasons, I guess, why you could justify quickly leaving your car out on the road. But I'd always advise, before we get into the next video, to park your car on the road next to the sidewalk. Don't try and tire up the sidewalk, because that does obstruct the sidewalk. And although in this video it doesn't look, it looks like maybe like two inches at most, three inches on the sidewalk with her tire. Like that's not obstructing people with wheelchairs, but there are people out there that will full on just have like half, entire half of the car over the sidewalk, which would obstruct wheelchair users, which isn't great. So I'll leave a link to the original in the description. I'm sorry. Up next, you guys, we have an audit by Georgia Transparency that I'm going to be reacting to and adding some criticism. Now, in this video, we have an uh, auditor exercising his First Amendment right, and he catches some very, uh, shall we say, annoyed people working in this building because they, again, don't know about the First Amendment and seem to just think that it's illegal what he is doing. Now, he tries to explain to them what he's actually doing, but they seem to not be interested in even talking to him until he puts the camera down completely. So, without further ado, let's get straight into this video today. But, you guys, before we do, don't forget to go and hit subscribe on Georgia Transparency's channel. I will leave a link down below to his channel in the description box below. Let's get into this. I'm sorry? Are you with a cop yeah. Oh yeah, I am. Oh, who you with? Free Press. Free Press. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, just working on a story with the health department. Oh, you doing a story on the health department? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, she's still. Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 oh no, no, you're you're perfectly fine, ma'am. Okay. Um. Just taking some, uh, just working on a story with the health department, Free Press, okay. journalism, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I think you are free to. I'm not here for patience. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm not here for. I'm, I'm here right. for the. Uh, well, I know that Miss. I think some people will come over and you know be here after a while, but like. I'm know. sorry. I said I think some people will be here after a while. What are you talking about? Or anything? What people? I'm. I'm not, what do you mean, people? Like we have some people that answer questions for people that want to record. And all kinds of things. Oh no, I'm just staying in the public areas and stuff. Oh, just working okay. on a story with the uh, with the health department. Okay, so although I get a feeling that this lady has no idea what she's saying and doesn't really understand what she's saying, I mean, it's still not bad. I mean, she's literally said to the guy, I think you can film in here, as if she's trying to actually be at least open-minded, calm. Like, she doesn't want to just be like a Karen and go, you can't do this, you can't do that, and uh, end up saying the wrong thing or violating his First Amendment rights. So... This lady is probably going to try and talk to security or I don't think she sounds like she's going to call the cops. She sounds pretty chilled out like the guy's literally just filming and um, I think the way he worded it was quite good about doing something for the health department. Uh, I don't know if that's a porky pie, but we'll keep watching and see what happens next. Just working on a story with the uh, with the health department. Okay. And uh, no, no, that's you know, that's 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 about it. Really not not here for uh, people or anything. I'm in a public area, sir. It don't matter. We're, you cannot record in here without people's permission. Oh, no, we're in public, though. This it is... don't matter. You need to leave. You no, need to leave, or I'm going to get the sheriff to move you. I don't have to leave. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Are you here for business? Yes, I am. But you can't record. Yes, I can. Hey, give him turn that off, or he's going to have to leave. Yeah. Or he's recording. He can record anywhere. As long as there's not access for patients, he can't record. He's recording people. everything. Yeah, like, so if there's access, if a patient goes to the back, he can't record there. He can't record them while they're here either because it's, it's part of HIPAA. 
but he had like anywhere the public has access to, uh -huh. he can record, but he cannot record like behind. Like the if fact is, you can't even record in this film because this is. So, so far, this order's going really well. Even when the male Karen turned up and said, you can't do this, it's against privacy, blah, 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 blah. He then went over to security and started trying to basically beg security to kick this guy out because apparently what he's doing is illegal and it's violating people's rights. Then he tried to bring up HIPAA and he tried to actually have an argument with security to convince the security guard to take this order to out the building. The thing is the security guard siding with the auditor in a way that he knows he has a right to do this and the security guard is trying to explain to this guy uh the male karen that he is allowed to in fact do that but we're about to see a massive turn in events this is a huge plot twist when the cops arrive i couldn't even believe it this security guard is fantastic the lady employee was also kind of fantastic but it gets worse you can't even record in this building because it's a city building. Yeah, if there's a door behind, like say, if there's access granted, he can't go back there if he is not a client. But he record the ones in the weight room? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How? He, it, it's, free, it's free. It's open to anyone. But he's recording their privacy from no, letting he can't, them that he they're can't, here for he services. He can't record any documentation like that. No, I'm talking about their... Like if he was recording me... Uh, pretty good, pretty good. How can I help you? Oh, just uh, working on a story. Free press, stuff like that. No, you can't come in here. Sir? Oh, 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 sir, 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 don't touch me. It's a privately owned building and they don't want you in the building, okay? Uh, where's the DFAX office? DFAX? No, over there. Okay, I need to go to DFAX. No, you're not. Why? I want to ask you to leave. If you don't leave, you'll be trespassing. Leave the property. Okay, can you go ahead and give me a trespass warning? Hmm? Can you go ahead and give me a, the citation for the trespass? No, I'll take you to jail. So I'll go to jail if I don't leave? Yes. And your name and badge and number? I prefer not to do that, but please leave. Your name and badge number? My name is Deputy Mann. Deputy Mann. And your badge I number? I don't have a badge number, sir. Deputy Mann, okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so I'll be arrested if I don't leave. Please leave, that's all I want you to do. Y'all have a great day. Have a great day, sir. What about uh, outside the building? Off the property. I'm sorry? Off of the property, okay? Okay, all right. You can please. feel anything you wish from the road. Okay. Y'all uh, y'all have a great day, so nothing, so I can't go to DFAX? No, sir. But I got business with DFAX. No, you don't, sir. Have a good day. Okay. This deputy was definitely going a bit too far, and to go from the audit actually going really well, where the security and the employees were kind and understanding and actually obviously probably didn't know about the first amendment but they were still like within themselves they knew the difference between right from wrong and even though this crazy member of the public came out and started saying you can't do this blah 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 and tried to like get security to kick him out security did the right thing in my opinion and and allowed the man to uh, exercise his first amendment right now the problem here is when the deputy turns up as you guys just saw the deputy then tried to say this is private and that it's now actually not open to this guy with the camera this was so awkward and you could tell that the deputy felt bad about what he was doing like he kind of knew it was somehow wrong because the tone of his voice he was kind of whispering and he had a, this other guy there um and damn this, this ended really badly I, I don't know how the deputy thought in his mind that doing this was a good thing uh yeah anyway guys comment down below your opinions go and subscribe to this channel i'll leave a link down below and let's get into our next one they're not gonna do anything up next today we have a video by l sanchez i'll leave a link down below to his channel in the description in this video, we are going to be reacting to a clip of him filming cops for accountability reasons because apparently cops have been blocking a road. Now, the interesting thing here is a lady uh, claims that the cops are trying to investigate something, but this guy has been confronting the cops because of how they have been parked along the road, which apparently, according to him or allegedly, has been obstructing other road users. Obviously, in certain cases and emergencies, the police can do this. If there's, for example, severe emergencies where they have nowhere else to park their vehicles, then obviously they get priority. 
but the question is what is that investigation and is there even an emergency so let's take a look as el sanchez holds him accountable and hmm gets a bit tense they're not gonna do anything right now they're mad because i was putting them on their place over there that's the reason why i'm recording them they were blocking the traffic over there and they're not doing nothing this two and i confronted them and then they started talking Yeah, it's a big problem. These two are not doing nothing besides trying to harass people over here. Like this idiot driving the vehicle. What's your batch number? You work for me. Don't forget that. Are you are you still here to buy stuff or you're done? I'm you? done. Okay. So what does that have to do with anything? I'm just asking you. So. And this two got out of the car. What? Like they were going to fucking try to do something. This I got out. No, he no, took no. out his spray can. He was going to spray me. No way. I mean, is that really true? Did the guy actually take out his spray can? Because that would be like police intimidation tactics, guys, which is genuinely insane. Unprofessional, bad, bad policing if that did happen. Now, I guess you could say that this guy might be annoying the cops. He is holding them accountable and a lot of cops don't like that some citizens who film the cops can be really annoying but i think that el sanchez has a good point and maybe is doing the right thing to ask them why they're doing this because i mean he's a member of the public right he's a taxpayer we're gonna fucking try to do something this motherfucker got out no, no, he took no. out his spray can he was gonna spray me he for what and this idiot doesn't want to identify himself Oh, it's a shirt. It's a shirt. No, no. Elias. Yes. Wow. Got it? Yes. Thank you. Okay. What is his name? Can I get his name? You can go now. No, can I get his name? I, I don't know him. Well, you're talking to him? So? And you're wearing the same stupid uniform, aren't you? Yeah. Then can you get his name? No pain, no gain. Can you get his name? No, don't get close to me. Can you get... F*** you. You Sorry. work for me. What's the law? What's the law? You work for me. You work for the public. You work for the public. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the way they're talking to me. Look at the way they're talking to me. This idiot came back and started talking shit. Okay, so at this point, it's just a question of the cops don't like El Sanchez now. <laughs> I mean, they're clearly talking to him disrespectfully, unprofessionally, so they just are being annoyed by him and they don't like the fact that they're being recorded. A lot of cops don't like being recorded or held accountable and it does annoy them whether that be for loads of reasons maybe they don't want to be held accountable because they're doing something dodgy maybe they are camera shy and they don't want to be on the internet well that's a bit difficult in 2023 and as you can see i think it looks to me like one of the cops is also filming el sanchez back as if that's somehow gonna annoy him el sanchez knows about the first amendment right and uh yes the cops also have that first amendment right so the question is guys what are these cops gonna do next let's keep watching look at the way they're talking to me look at the way they're talking to me i know this idiot came back and started talking yeah two people being Dad. It's better if you just leave now. Where am I gonna go? Do you have a car here? Where, where am I gonna go? Where am I gonna go? There's a reason. This no, no, no. idiot got out of the, right. his car. He stepped okay. in my face. Okay, he was gonna there. spray me. Okay, I was not there. I okay, did not I'm see. telling you. Okay, but now I'm you guys telling protect you. each other. Now I'm telling you. I'm trying to get his name and this idiot doesn't let me do that. Okay, now I'm telling trying you. Trying to tell me to stay away from him. All right, no, we're not protecting anyone. Well, you guys are, obviously. You can think otherwise. Right. Because yes. that's what you guys do best, huh? Protect I, each other. I don't know. You, you can Are you guys even out. police? I don't know. Or you guys are just figure a cutie? You were ready to spray me, weren't sir, you? Sir, sir, as long as you're continuing this. I'm going to continue it. But, but they can't actively do anything. They weren't doing to, anything but, either way. My wife but, spent two hours sitting know, in the den. I know, I know, but let's I'm see. Over there. Maybe there's a solution. There's not a solution because these idiots but, are protecting this but you, ass. But you are not helping right now to the rest of everybody. So let's just 
just just for the a minute. Problem was, we're gonna push all the traffic to Anaheim Street, whether they like it or not. Just get, perfect. get the traffic out of there. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna make a there. decision, and if, if, if it's you're their supervisor, sir. It's, look, did you okay. hear, sir? Right, hey, you're so, their supervisor, sir. I'm not a supervisor, but I'm. But he's made a here. good decision. But I'm gonna make a decision. So can I get your name? This situation has turned into a total nightmare. Many people say that perhaps it's El Sanchez's fault for recording them in the first place, but that doesn't make any sense because he has the right to do that. If cops are being unprofessional and annoying, then I respect him for what he did in holding them accountable. Now, the whole claim about them actually uh, picking up their tear gas, uh, their canister in a threatening manner, that's extremely unprofessional and I think that's bad, really, really bad. I haven't seen intimidation tactics like that in months, at least months, maybe even years from these audit videos. So one thing I have to say is you do have to be careful as some cops can be trigger happy from uh, the past. We've learned this. So one thing I think El Sanchez needs to do is just ask them what they're doing, trying to be more kind and lower his voice because then they might respond better. I understand he's getting passionate and he wants to get answers, but yelling at the police is never going to really work. And if I was in this situation, I'd go to the police and ask them for their name and badge numbers and I'd be a lot more calm and quiet, but I'd still confront them like El Sanchez did and hold them accountable. So all in all, I support what El Sanchez does. So go and subscribe to his channel. The links are down below. Unfortunately, guys, that is the end of today's Audit Rewind episode. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe if you are new here. Also, if you have any clips of your own of law enforcement uh, videos or First Amendment audits and you'd like me to feature them, then feel free to send them in via the email in my description box as I may feature it and react to it and also give you a shout out. So yeah, hope you're all doing well. Stay safe and well out there and I'll catch you in tomorrow evening's upload. Peace out.